Well, okay, today's uh, video is going to be about more soup. Uh, I have a Facebook follower that uh, she didn't send in a request. She just mentioned another dumpling soup that her and her kids really loved a lot. This one is called Peas and Carrots Dumpling Soup. recipe was sent to me by a Facebook uh, friend of mine, uh, Gina, who said that her and her kids used to love this soup in the winter. It was nice and hot rib stickings soup. So I made some up and I just want to thank Gina for the recipe and uh, let her know that hey, I made this soup. Come on inside and let me show you what's all involved. So let's get on with the ingredients. And the ingredients are <coughs> eggs, parsley, some flour for the uh, dumplings, bay leaves, a little bit of carrot, not the whole thing. A little bit of onion, not the whole thing. Some celery, not the whole thing. <laughs> uh, Dijon mustard. Vegetable broth. Some milk for the dumplings. And the Bisquick uh, powder to make the dumplings with. And then I have the peas, but they're just not right out here right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is follow the instructions and uh, see what this pea and carrot soup with dumplings looks like and what it tastes like. I'll take you along. So let's get started. I'll get out the bowls and what have you and uh, we'll get started here. All right, let me just show you what we've got so far. Uh, carrots. Sliced lengthwise. <laughs> uh, celery, onions, bay leaves. Uh, I guess I should put salt and pepper in here yet. A little bit of oil. I'm going to cover and cook for about, it says, seven to eight minutes. So we'll let that to happen. And then we'll come back at you a little bit later. Okay, next I added in two heaping tablespoons of flour over the vegetables then whisked in the uh, vegetable broth that I have here and we'll cook that until it thickens up. And we'll start adding our uh, dumplings and our peas. Looks good so far. Alright, check this out now. We've got the peas, the carrots, the onions, um, celery, bay leaves, salt and pepper, uh, Dijon mustard. All I have left to do now is put in the dumpling batter and that's over here and it's two cups of batter or uh, flour, uh, a cup of milk, a couple of eggs and the parsley and I had to modify it a little bit it was a little bit too moist yet I had to add some more uh, biscuit flour now we can start spooning that into the uh, into the soup here and it shouldn't be long I haven't even tasted it yet all right, it's all in there. The dumplings are in. All I've got to do now is cover with a tight lid. How tight as I got it. And let it cook for 
eight minutes or so, stirring every once in a while. Looking good. I haven't even taste tested it yet to see what it's like. But I can't wait. So a big thumbs up to uh, Gina, who uh, told me about this soup. Said it was great, fantastic. So I had to try it. She even left the recipe for me. So uh, if any of you has wanted, let me know. I'll post the, the whole recipe for it. Um, now we just wait eight more minutes or so, stirring occasionally, and we will have soup for tonight. Oh yeah, right on. Here's how it's coming along, guys. The dumplings are getting done. They're just about done. Oh, it smells great. So, right on. Thank you, Gina, for the recipe. Okay, let me give you a shot of what it looks like. Now it's just about done. I'll be able to uh, dish out a bowl of this. A small bowl for now, just to see what it's like. And then that'll be supper tonight. Like right now, it's actually only 11.30 in the morning. So it's all done, ready to go. I like soup when it's almost like a second day. Uh, the day after. So this should be real tasty tonight. There's enough there for about, well, I was gonna say one meal, two meals. But there's probably enough there for several meals. I don't want it to go bad, I'm gonna eat it up. Thank you, Gina. All right, guys and gals, it is now 10 o'clock in the evening, and I think it's time to eat. This is my bowl here of peas, carrots, and dumplings. Let me just try this. A little hot. Tastes really good. I love it, Gina. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next one.